Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Tuesday, the 2nd of June, 2020, and the time has just gone 11.40 British summer time. Now, I am aware uh, I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Um, that was down to issues surrounding technology, but I am hoping to do it on a more regular basis. And I hope all our viewers and listeners are, are staying safe uh, in this current environment. Uh, getting on with the video, this week's video, uh, this week's chart of the week is the Germany 30, the DAX. Uh, the market, as you can see here, has been enjoying a very nice rebound since the lows that we saw in mid to late March, along with other global indices. Uh, particularly so, it's been pressing higher the last few weeks, a nice series of higher highs and higher lows. If the DAX is currently north of 12,000. Uh, today, it hit its highest level since the 5th of March. Uh, so it gives you an indication of how bullish sentiment is. And as, on this video, it covers you know, the potential levels we could see a target uh, in the near term. So if the wider upward trend continues on the last few months and the recovery does continue, we could be looking at targeting this area here in around 12,108, sorry, apologies, 12,218, this zone in around here. And should we look to go beyond that, uh, we could be looking heading towards 12,300, 12,400, so on and so forth. Um, as you said, we've seen a nice series of higher highs and higher lows very recently. So if we do see any kind of pullbacks, it could be an opportunity for some traders to look to buy into the market. So if you do look to move lower from here, we could see support come into play from this yellow line here, the 100-day moving average, and that comes into play at 11,000. 522 we can see here that very recently um, that that metric acted nicely as support so if a metric has acted as, as uh, support in the past it makes it likely that it will, it will act be of importance in the future although there are no guarantees but even if you do have a fairly decent break below that uh, we could find some support coming from this zone here down around 11,000 big psychological number and keep in mind the market has made considerable considerable ground since the lows that we saw uh, in mid to late March. So the wider upward trend is still very much in play. Now, let's take a look uh, at what's going on at some other equity markets. Um, and the reason why we're doing that is to kind of focus on one of the tenets of Dow theory. Um, one of those tenets is that the averages must confirm each other, which basically says uh, if one market's moving in a, in a certain direction, similar markets should also you'd also expect those markets to be moving in a similar direction. Uh, so you can see here uh, on the FTSE 100, like with the, uh, with the DAX, the market began to rebound uh, in mid to late March, and since then it's been pushing higher. Um, to be fair to the FTSE 100, the highs of June haven't taken out highs that, we, that we've seen in May, but the, kind of, the wider upward trend of the last few months is still very much in play. So, can, so with that, we can be, can be more confident of the DAX's positive move. Um, I'll now take a look at the S&P 500 to get a flavor of what's going on in terms of sentiment over in the US. And it's, similar, it's a more similar picture to the DAX, whereby the, by, whereby the market itself has also, um, well, the, the cash trading has begun today, but the futures would indicate um, that the, the S&P 500 is, is going to open at a level last seen also on, on the 5th of March, in early March. So the kind of wider bullish trend is, is in place on the S&P 500, it's in place on the, S on the FTSE 100, and it's also in place uh, on the Germany 30, on the DAX. So therefore, we can be more confident uh, that the kind of wider bullish trend in the DAX is going to continue. Obviously, there are no guarantees. Now, if you are trading, the, uh, if you are going to be trading the, uh, the DAX or indeed any of the major indices, it is worth noting that the final reading of Euro, uh, European um, service PMI contracts are due out tomorrow. Uh, on Thursday, we have the European Central Bank meeting. That's, that kind of adds some volatility, particularly to the likes of the DAX. Um, the European Central Bank has been down a very aggressive stimulus package route. Uh, there's already talk that the Pandemic Emergency Purchase Program uh, is going to be uh, is going to be um, is going to be is going to see extension to that. And then Friday, we have the all important non farm payroll report. Uh, in fact, if you're actually free on Friday, uh, my colleague Michael Houston is holding a, a live webinar event on uh, covering the uh, the, the live. 
the live the the, uh, the payrolls. Uh, you can sign up for it here, cmcmarkets.com. Under insights, you will see the um, section here on webinars and events. Feel free to sign up for that. Um, so that I'd like to add some, some volatility to the markets. Um, I hope you have a good trading week and have a good tr trading week and good luck.